Hello, John Rhodes here and welcome back. A big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have only just found the channel, why not subscribe now? In this video presentation, I'm going to be looking at a simple molar retreat. It's a GP case that was under condensed and underfilled. I'm going to use two types of bioceramic to seal the uh, root canals and the access cavity after preparation and irrigation. I'm using BioRoot RCS as a single cone obturating technique, and then I'm going to use biodentine to seal the access cavity with composite on the occlusal surface. I hope you enjoy it. The mandibular right first molar is associated with periapical periodontitis. There's a periapical radiolucency around the mesial root and the root filling is poorly condensed and short. In the preoperative CBCT scan, you can see there are voids alongside the root filling material. The existing composite restoration was simply removed with a long tapered diamond. Under high magnification, you can see voids alongside the GP cones in the mesial root. Gutta perca was rapidly removed using a Gates Glidden number no. 2 and a Headstrom size 30. I used a ProTaper SX instrument to flare the coronal aspect of all the root canals. Irrigation was carried out throughout the procedure using 3% sodium hypochlorite. A headstrom file is an excellent instrument for removing tags of GP. The working lengths were all estimated using an electronic apex locator. The canals were then rapidly tapered using Wave 1 Gold instruments Primary, Medium and Large. I spotted some tags of GP deep in the isthmus between the mesial canals and I removed this using a micro opener. The canals were dried with matched paper points prior to obturation using a single cone bioceramic technique with BioRoot RCS. I'm using an injection technique with the bioceramic sealer and when I inject it in one of the mesial canals it flows through the confluence and isthmus and back up the other. Pre-measured gutta perca cones and then inserted gently into the bioceramic sealer until they reach the working length. At this point they can be seared at the level of the pulp floor. I'm using a Mac 2 plugger to plug the GP into the orifice of the root canals.
bioceramic materials like biodentine provide an excellent seal. And so when you've got a fairly minimal access cavity, you can use the material as a restorative to seal the access cavity. In this case, I used biodentine packed across the pulp floor and then composite on the occlusal surface. I'm now packing biodentine across the pulp floor and into the access cavity. After about 10 minutes, the biodentine is set. I've placed a paladent wedge between the teeth and I'm now removing the remaining composite and tidying up the margins of the cavity. This will then be sealed using a full etch, bond and light cured composite restoration. I'm building up the occlusal surface of the tooth in increments with composite. The final radiograph shows a good coronal apical seal. The biodentine has adapted well in the floor of the pulp chamber and there's been good length control of the bioceramic sealer within the root canals. You can see where the isthmus is in the mesial canal because it's more radiopaque. Well, it's great to be back again and saving teeth after lockdown. I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and above all, Enjoy your endo.